This is the problem 9.11. We want to find the centroid of this wire that is bent so that we have a linear part over here of 20 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and then we have a circular shape with a radius of 60 millimeters. So the way that we find the centroid of a composite area, you recall that the definition of centroid will be, in this case, we have a line, so we have, the def it will be this definition, and since we have three dimensions, we will use the three dimensions. But an integral, as you recall, is not more than a summation. So we can, since so all of these shapes, we know where the centroid is located. For example, if we divide this shape in three parts, where this is part one, this is part two, and this is part three, we can decompose that integral in three parts and convert it to a summation. So that will be the centroid of the first part times the length of that part divided by the total length. I will do the same for the y axis and I will do the same for the x axis. Where i goes from one to three. To do so, we will do a little table. with our three parts, right? And here we go the section. This is one, so I don't need that line. One, two, and three. And then we need the length of each section. We need the position of the centroid of that section in each of the directions. So we have our little table right here, the first session. You know that the circumference or the perimeter of a circular is 2 pi r, and we have only half, the so circle is pi r. So that will be pi times 60. I will do it in millimeters, so my results will be in millimeters. And for the second, well, it's 40 millimeters, and for the third one, it's 20 millimeters. So if our origin of our coordinate system is located right there, where is the x for my circular first section? It's right here. So right here, we know that is, this is the centroid. And as you recall from the tables, this distance is 2r over pi. So in the x direction, yes, will be the radius, will be 60. In the y direction, will be negative that r2. 60 over pi. In the c direction will be 0 because that's in the plane x, y. For the second section, you see that this is over the y axis. Therefore, we have no distance in x. So no coordinates because we have here that that centroid will be located right here, right? So this is the first centroid and this is the second centroid and this is the third centroid. So, in the y direction, will be located at 20. And in the c direction, it will be at 0 because it's over the y axis, so it doesn't have any coordinates in, in the c direction. And lastly, this one over here is in the plane c, y. Therefore, it has no coordinates in x. In y, is located at 40. And in c, is located at negative then. So now that we have all the x, y, and c for each of those, as you see, and if we want to mark it the same, that will be my centroid, my local centroid for each of the sections. So now it is easy to find my centroid for all my, my whole figure because what I have to do is add each of those ones and this will be x1 times length 1 
plus x2, length 2 plus x3, and all that divided by the total length. And the total length will be pi 60 plus 40 plus 20. And I have that here will be located at 45.5 millimeters. We do the same for the y, and then now we have to multiply our y coordinate, which is negative 2 times 60. Let me put it like that. 2, 60 divided by pi times pi 60 plus 20 times 40 plus 40 times 20. And all divided by the total length. I can calculate the total length, but I don't have that number, so I just put everything over there, but you, you can actually do it so that you have that number and you don't have to repeat it, calculate it. And at the end, this will be negative 22.5 millimeters. And C, I do exactly the same, but now I do zero. I'm very, I'm, I am being very specific to write everything down. Zero times this length, zero times this length. Obviously, zero times any number will be zero, but I just want to make sure that we understand what we are doing, right? So right here, over the total length. And that gives me the C coordinate. And the C coordinate is negative 0 0.805. I could actually, since I'm using only one decimal, I can leave it as 0 0.8 millimeters. So at the end, my location of my centroid is located at 45.5 negative 22.5 and negative 0 0.8, all that in millimeters, which are these numbers over here. So if we try to draw that, it will be in the negative, in, it will be positive in x, will be over here somewhere, over here and a little bit. So the centroid will be somewhere in the negative in y, positive in x, and negative in, let me draw it like that. So somewhere around here. So that will be the centroid of the whole wire that is bent in this shape.